Hey guys, Sam here at NA Studios. Today I want to take a look at drum triggering, um, drum sample replacement in Logic. Now this is just using everything built into Logic, no external plugins, no, no third party stuff. Um, we're going to do it kind of a simple way and then we're going to do it a bit more of a complex way as well, uh, just to see what the possibilities are. As always, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like on this video. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is a track by um, Alice Cat, and we're just working on the chorus at the moment. It sounds to me like the snare could use some work though. Um, let's have a listen to it, just as it is at the moment. So it's got a nice bit of a crack to it, but, you know, it could use a bit more weight. Um, so what I'm going to do is use Logic's kind of built-in um, drum replacement thing um, and then take it one step further. Okay, so what we do is we're going to press Control and D and that's going to um, analyze our transients and it's going to create like a drummer track um, where it will replace the, uh, the, the hits. So I've got it set to snare. I've got it set to doubling at the moment because that's what we're going to do. We're not completely replacing. Um, and down here we can see all the hits that it is triggering. Now you can um, change the threshold here, which will change the amount of hits that it, that it uh, detects. So at the moment we've got the threshold really high, so it's not going to detect anything. Let's bring it down to minus 12 where it was before. We can see that we're picking up the large majority of the oven there. Let's take it down a bit further so we get all these. Yeah, I think we're, uh, we're about there on that. Okay, then we'll click OK. And what that's going to do is create MIDI notes for all of the snare hits. So now we've got just some snare hits. Now, it automatically loads up a sampler track with an acoustic snare in it, which is fine. If we want to just use that acoustic snare, then we can go for that. It's just got a built-in snare, um, and it'll just map on, onto the velocities and, and hey presto. Um, we can go to our settings here, choose some different snare drums if we wanted to. Uh, so acoustic snares, it's got loads of different ones. Bit of a higher pitched one. Bit more ring to it. And that's cool, you know, we can do that, that's absolutely fine. But what about if we want to use our own samples? Well, this is where it gets a bit interesting. What I'm going to do is um, load in some samples that I've made myself. <clears throat> now this is um, what I've called the Fat Steel Snare. Um, you can download some free one shots of this. Um, check out the link in the description. Um, we've got uh, how many here? 12 hits. So we've got three hard hits, three medium hard hits, three medium hits, and three kind of mid soft, softish hits. Um, so we're going to load all these into the sampler track. Let's grab all of them and drag them on. Now we're going to put these on zone per note. And this is going to enable us to do uh, a few things. So this drags them all in then. And what we've got is three hard hits, three mid hits, three medium hard, and three medium soft-ish hits. Um, the original snare is still there, so I'm just going to get rid of that, so that I've just got my snare hits that I want, my snare sounds. Okay, so first things first then, let's select these hard hits, the three of them. We've got multiple hits selected. Let's go to group and create a round robin. And what that does is every time it triggers this sample, it doesn't just play the first one. It doesn't just play the second one after each other. It will play the first, then the second, then the third, then the first, second, third, and however many you've got. In the pack that I've created, you've got over 200 hits there um, of varying velocities. So you've got plenty of opportunity um, for some realistic drums. But we're just going to use three for now. Let's go for the mid and let's go for create round robin. Let's go mid hard, create round robin, and let's go mid soft, create round robin. So we've got a round robin sample set for each of these. Now, what's the point in having these if we can't map them to velocities? Currently, they're all on velocity zero to one, two, seven. So every time the snare hits, it's gonna play all 12 of those samples, which we don't want. There's no point in having that. So let's go over to group for a moment. Let's select all our hard hits, and we can set the velocity range that it triggers at. So let's say that these ones are going to go, I don't know, let's say every time there's a hit that is in between 100 and 127, it's going to trigger the hard sample in a round robin format. And then let's go for the mid hard and let's say, well, the minimum of the hard was 100. So the maximum of the mid hard needs to be 99. Let's go down to, let's say 60. Let's do the same for the mid. Let's go one below 59 and 30. And then the kind of softish hits. Let's go 29 and one. Now you can see I only had to do that once because I had all of those hits selected. Okay, that's all we want to do in the group section. And then let's go to zones. Now this is where we can get a bit more in depth. Let's select all of them for a moment. 
Let's select all these groups and all these zones and let's go across. Now, first off, we want to have a look at this playback section. It maps pitch to what it thinks the actual pitch of the drum is, but we don't want that because it's going to then kind of say, make its own pitch. If we have listened to it on its own, it's taking them all right down. We don't want that at all. So let's unselect pitch. And now we can hear it's playing just our actual samples. But there's an issue here because what we want it to do is to play the entire sample. We don't want it to cut off once the next note hits. We can see in this fill here, it kind of sounds really unnatural, doesn't it? Because it's just stopping one sample after the first one's hit. So what we can do is select where it says one shot. And that means that it's going to play the entirety of the sample, no matter where the next MIDI note starts. And there's just one extra thing we need to do for this. We need to select each of these. And for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, um, the sample within Logic changes the length of the sample. You can see it's kind of changed these. And I've not found an easier way of doing this other than selecting each one and lengthening it by hand. If you know a quicker way, please leave a comment in the description. I'd love to see it. But for now, I'm just going to do it the long way. Okay, cool. So now I've got all my samples. They're all playing the correct length, the full um, file, the full sample. So if I now play this track, it's playing the nice fat samples and it's not doing that kind of machine gun thing. Now, for some reason in, uh, in Logic, it kind of detects the transients not very hard. You see all of these, they're playing, the actual snare drum is hitting quite hard, um, but because the level is relatively low on there, it's quite conservative, it's not s kind of seeing them as being very hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select all of them and just drag them up a bit. Now what this will do is, if I drag it all up to 127, you'll notice it drops back down again. Because it says, right, the highest velocity sample that we've got is already at 127 so relatively we're gonna to have to bring the rest of them down but i'd just like to bring them all up just a touch if your signal was a bit hotter then you won't have to do that but let's have a listen to it as it stands nice cool okay so we've got some nice um, natural sounding drums there. And we've done this all within the Logic built-in sampler instrument. You can see once we get the hard hits, it's just occupying this top velocity area. We can get these mid hits. You can see exactly where they're occupying. So we want to make sure that they're all on D1, MIDI note D1, um, the standard kind of snare note. Um, if it's anything else, then if we've got anything else running into this sampler, we might run into problems. Um, it's just kind of good practice. So let's go to our group section and we'll select all of these, the top one, then select the bottom one. And our key range, we're going to make that D1 for the lowest part and D1 for the highest part. So now the only note that is going to trigger this is D1. If I were to change them to C sharp one or whatever, it wouldn't trigger it. So let's hear what we've got then. Now we've got the original snare, which sounds, where is it, a bit like this. And then let's bring that sample in as well. bring up some nice bottom end there. And the beauty of this is that we can kind of go a little bit crazy with it. So if we wanted to, um, let's say for example, stick a load of EQ on it, we've got no spill there, so it doesn't matter. We can stick a load of top end on it, stick a load of bottom end on it, whatever we want to do, make it nice and fat. Nice and chunky. So let's listen to that drum bus uh, without any of the samples on or anything like that. Let's solo all that and get rid of this snare. rest of the drums sound okay, but with this triggered snare. Cool, so in with the, uh, the rest of the track then, let's take the snare out and then pop it in halfway through. Loads, loads fatter and just sounds a lot a lot better rounded. This is fantastic for um, for two reasons, really. If you're completely replacing your snare, if you've got a really bad recording first time round, you've just been sent it to mix, or if you can't go back to record it again, um, or if you just want to add a little bit of extra weight to that snare. The snare drum that I've got originally, it's got a nice top end, but the bottom end is a bit lacking. So in this instance, I'm just adding some, some real bottom end to there um, just to kind of add some weight to it. 
So I hope that's been useful for some of you. Um, do you do it in a different way? Do you do it in the same way, but do you kind of tweak it a little bit differently? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, so check out the description. Um, you can get these free one-shot samples, shop.nastudios.co.uk. Um, and you can purchase the full packs there as well. It's the fat steel snare, medium steel snare. Um, there's some brass snares there as well. There's a whole range of stuff, all multi-velocity. Um, I've given you a logic a preset there for sampler so you can just load that straight up and it will do all that velocity mapping for you don't have to touch it at all and also um, some presets for slate trigger uh, in the tci format all right so thanks a lot for checking it out make sure you subscribe make sure you hit like and check out what we've got coming up next cheers <laughs>